All right, on another lack of maintenance episode. Um, yeah, that's pretty dirty. And I don't know how long they've been running it without a filter. I'm kind of scared to find out. But uh, today I'm just going to unclog this drain. I'm going to take care of this. I put this system in all oh, three, four years ago. Um, but I'm going to unclog this drain. I'm going to replace this with easy trap. Get rid of this. And, um, that way they can see what's going on. Stay tuned. stock couplings. So I have a feeling I'm going to have to use a union. So let's see how bad this is going to be leaking. This is one of the reasons so yeah they have not changed that filter since I put this furnace in so that's how bad that filter is and he just pulled it out last night and so it kind of made me a sigh of relief that he wasn't running like that for a long time so I'm gonna hook him up with some uh, some of my magnet or uh, QR codes and then I'll send them over a link so you can order the filters I'm hoping oh yeah I didn't glue that that's awesome I'm hoping that where'd my towel go to right there oh she is full she is full I didn't I think I did that on purpose, so easy cleaning. So if you ever run into a problem this way, you can always change this out to an easy trap. That's what I'm going to start using from now on. These easy traps. I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can order them right off Amazon. Pretty simple. And if you need to cut the pipe, you just you can get these anywhere. They're just tubing cutters, PVC cutters. So oh that's not glued there, so I'm gonna have to oh yeah. Of course. So what I'll do is cut this. Oh yeah, that's a lot of cocky in there. Oh, yeah. You can see it is just filled with cocky. So that's the reason why we're getting 
ton of water leaking out. All right. also get these with a safety switch that goes here and then ties to your furnace. Um, in certain applications that'd be very useful. So I think that'll work just fine. Just like that. Um, let me see, I might set this up a little bit differently here maybe put a 45 right there or I guess I can probably do it that way and we got access to this point here we can still clean it out Put a small piece of pipe, come down, put another 45 right there. I just got to go, actually, that might, that might work. I'm going to get creative. So I'm going to take this off. I have to clean that cocky out first. I'm going to take this off. Fear because the union is here. So we can just cut that one off. Just like that. And cut him down. Yeah, I got unions in my barn. I just keep forgetting to restock them back in my truck. Look at there. I like it when a plan comes together. Let me glue everything up and we'll be good to go. Yeah, you gotta make sure your fittings are dry, obviously. smoke alarm is getting on my nerves as well as yours. That's powered too. I don't know why it's chirping. Just 
like that. That's an important one there because water's falling down. So there. All right, I'll go and flush this out and test everything, make sure it doesn't leak. And for all that you're saying, you're not know, coming to using primer. We don't really need to use primer on these, but this is a uh, fusion single step. I got this at some local hardware. Clear medium PB cement. It's got cleaner and glue all in one. So. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna pop this cover off. Let's see if I can see anything crazy. Let's see, it's not that bad in there. I threw a couple of those tabs down there to keep everything nice and clean, but it's not that bad here make sure I have no leaks you can see how that khaki kind of breaking up there No leaks and it's flowing down there just fine. So, so for all of you not familiar with this easy trap, so I got to clean out here, which I need to tighten right now, so I don't forget. Gotta clean out here. This is a Diversitec uh, three-quarter T with a clean out. Uh, then we got an opening here, opening here, opening here. So basically, we could clean it out here if we need to. We can run this brush all the way down through and push this cocky back out through. Because eventually, so with this easy trap, you can see what's going on. Um, so that way, when it starts getting gunked up, you just take your brush and push it through and it's clean. So this filter has been in there since 12, 22 of 20. We just pulled it out last night, thought it was, yeah, it was, it's hit. I don't think I've ever seen one that bad before. Definitely, <laughs> it definitely does its purpose. So I, um, just reached, recently purchased this this little printer got this on the Amazon Fomio it's a little ink it's a little uh, heat strip printer it does different labels so this is how I make my labels here so you can go to my website hotairnow.com and um takes you right to my website and there's my filters right there so what i do is i copy and paste this code i open up the app for this and i already have some templates set up so basically i just go to qr code check bring that down and you can implement this little device in all sorts of different businesses um you can print anything it's pretty cool just like that print label i want to do three yeah just like that and then take these and they're not wet 
So I take these. So this, this basically QR take take QR code takes you right to my filter site, but this is specifically for this furnace. So I'm just trying to help the customers out, change so they can change their filters more frequently when they need to. So then I just um throw these on. Like that. I'll leave the link in the description as well as this one. Uh, it's not. It's pretty reasonable actually. So then in here I would just uh, we're rating 13 April air. I think that's with uh, yeah E. That's what I thought. I'm just gonna do that on one of them. Then I can stick these wherever I want. Like, uh, I'll stick this one actually on the door. Right there. That's a little stack of shit. Oh, then I just wipe that off. That's no good. I so I end up using my last filter. Other, I normally try to keep one of these filters in my truck. I don't have any more so I'm gonna rely on the customer to get filters so the system stays clean and I'll put one right here and I don't think it's gonna stick there we can try I'll put, oops, I'll put one right here. Yeah, we can just grab your phone. So with this here, you just scan it. Oh, takes you right to my site. There's the filters just like that. Easy peasy. But I will I will leave this in the link in the description. So if if anybody out there would like one of these, you can just grab one. Um, they're really they're really easy to use. Uh, the app sets up on your phone. So that's it on that. You just hold that button down for three seconds, and it shuts it down. I've used this probably 15 times this week, and the battery's still holding. All right, guys. Um, if you got any value out of this content, smash that thumbs up button. And if you're the one smashing that thumbs down, do that twice. That'd be great. And uh, like and subscribe. And we're almost to a thousand people, so I'm going to be doing a big giveaway. If you want some free tools, free goodies, subscribe and enter enter to win. I'll explain later. Have a good one. See you in the next one.